welcome back to my channel, long time no see. I am finally coming back at you with a grocery haul. I did recently also film a what I eat in a day, so I just have to edit that and get it up. I went to BJ's today and this was kind of a huge order because I had to get a few things that I don't typically get like uh, diapers, dog food. So right there, that's like almost a hundred bucks. Ridiculous, it's like 50 bucks for each thing. Um, but the dog food will last us at least like two to three weeks. And then the diapers usually also last us about two to three weeks. So it's worth it obviously and my daughter has to poop somewhere. <laughs> but anyways, this haul was around, I would say $400, a little over with the diapers and the dog food. Again, if you are new to my channel, I have five children, four of which are growing boys. My children are eight, seven, and I have twin five-year-olds. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Um, my name is Jody. I am a nurse, but I am currently staying home with my children. I have five children. I already went over the boys, and then I have a little girl that I had in April of 2020, pandemic baby, and she is now 14 months old. So um, she is eating just as much as them, I feel like. <laughs> but anyways, that is my quick introduction. If you guys want to see what we got at BJ's. A lot of it is stuff for the children, but some of it is a lot of like fruits and vegetables, which I eat as well. And I do get my meat at BJ's. They have 96.4 beef. And somebody wants to say hello. <laughs> Who are you? Anyways, if you guys uh, are interested in the grocery haul, then just keep watching. All right guys, I am just gonna jump right into this. So I pretty much put all of my refrigerated and frozen stuff here. Um, so here I have two gallons of whole milk. Um, Quinn is officially being weaned from breastfeeding. So she is drinking whole milk and my boys love whole milk and my husband is a chocolate milk fiend. So that's like his guilty pleasure. So I always have to have at least two gallons of milk in my house at all times. <laughs> Um, next, I have these Wellesley Farm eggs. There's 36 eggs. We eat a ton of eggs in this house. These are like crucial for my Weight Watchers journey. I am getting kind of sick of eggs, unfortunately, so I have to figure out ways to, I guess, spice up the eggs, but they're a staple. I put them in rice. I put them in everything. Um, great source of protein. No points. Here, uh, my kids love ham and cheese sandwiches, and my husband as well, so I always have ham. So this is... The Deets and Watts and Black Forest hams, a pound. And then I just have some white American cheese. Then I was actually really excited when I found this. This is from BJ's and it is two pounds of 96.4 lean ground beef. So this is the leanest beef that I can really find. Um, and it's awesome for Weight Watchers. But I will make like burgers and typically what I'll do, I'll spread it in half and I will do a pound, do burgers out of that. And then the others, the other pound I'll use for like a recipe or something. Um, these nuggets, oh, I'm sorry, I missed the Lunchables. So I know these aren't the best, but these are super good for just quick lunches um, for the kids. Liam and Brady, two of my kids absolutely love those. So I keep them on hand. Um, these are, this brand, Yummy, these are the nuggets that my kids are obsessed with right now. I feel like it's like ever changing, but we have Yummy Nuggets. These are at BJ's and how much? We go through a bag of this in probably a half, like half a week. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to see how many. Hold on. Uh, five pounds. So this is five pounds of chicken nuggets. We got two boxes. So this is 10 pounds of nuggets and I guarantee you we will have to get more in maybe a week. It's ridiculous. I have one child that will eat six nuggets for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then he'll like supplement with strawberries. So at the end of the day, I know it doesn't sound great, but he actually eats pretty balanced. He just eats very minimal uh, things. So yeah, that's my spiel about the nuggets. And we also give Quinn some of that. We just cut it into little chunks and mix it in with like um, rice, mac and cheese, avocado, just a little bit of protein to supplement her diet as well. Um, you guys know if you follow me on Instagram, I'm obsessed with putting whipped cream on my protein coffees, so I always have this. And then Liam, my oldest, is obsessed with hot chocolate, and he always needs some whipped cream for his hot chocolate. 
Uh, then I have some cheese. We're just always having Colby Jack. I don't usually have this for Weight Watchers. I do the Kraft Fat Free um, mozzarella and cheddar. But this is just essential for us to have on hand for nachos, for everything. I give that to the baby while she's screaming at me, waiting for me to finish cooking her food. Um, then I have some raspberries. This will be gone in probably about a day, which is so ridiculous. Um, three pounds of strawberries. I love the summertime because they actually do have these giant three pound buckets, but this will also be gone in a few days. Don't mind the children. Um, then I didn't realize I did this, but apparently I put two different kinds of butter in my cart and didn't realize that I ordered these online. Um, so I got two pack of the Land O'Lakes butter with canola oil, and then I did the Can't Believe It's Not Butter, uh, the original. So, I mean, we have so much mac and cheese in this house and I need that for it, so it's not gonna go to waste. Uh, then, hold on, I gotta go on this side. Um, this is, these are a lifesaver, especially in the summertime when my husband does a lot of grilling, but this is the Angus Bubba Burgers. These are about $20, but you get 12 burgers and a child apparently. Um, 12 burgers and, 12 burgers and you just put them in the freezer and then you can just pop them out and grill them up whenever you want. Um, then I have some cucumbers. I always just pre-cut these and just leave them in my vegetable drawer so that they're ready if I want a snack or have them as a side with my food. Um, really important and I recommend doing that if you're on a weight loss journey or you have children because it really encourages them to reach for the fruits and vegetables. So just make sure that they're readily available um, because honestly if you are hungry and you go to your vegetable drawer and it's just like that, I, I know I wouldn't be inclined to cut that when I'm hungry so I'd rather just be ready and waiting. It encourages you to make better choices. Um, then I have the Chobani Flip Yogurt. So I recently bought these for um, myself and the boys actually absolutely love these. So these, if you are doing um, WW on the blue plan, I'm not sure about the other plans, the green and the purple, um, but I know every single one except for, I think strawberry cheesecake. This is 7.7 .7 points, seven points, and then this one's six and it's absolutely delicious. They're all good. I actually have not tried these two, so my kids ate them before I could. So this is 16. It will probably last us this whole week, so craziness. Then we have a giant thing of Reese's Puff cereal. I know it's not the healthiest, but balance. You gotta compromise at some point with your children. <laughs> um, big thing of crackers. These are really good for when we go to the park. Um, when I were at pools and stuff like that, it's just a good quick snack that I can just grab and throw in a bag. So I like to always have these on hand as well as these pouches. So what I'm going to start doing, these are going to be reserved for when we are out and about their pouches. These are way more expensive, but if you're trying to be mindful of budget, a good thing to do, I got this unsweetened applesauce and these are gigantic and you get way more bang for your buck with this. So I'm gonna start having the kids eat this when they're hungry as snacks when we're home because obviously I have like spoons and bowls and things like that. Um, but these are gonna be reserved for when we are out and about. So like I said, pool days, beach days, park days, all things like that. Then obviously it's the summertime, so we're doing more fires. So we got a s'mores kit. So this just comes with everything in it. I think you can make like 17 s'mores or 18 wow. s'mores. Um, so it comes with nine full-size Hershey's milk chocolate bars, one bag of marshmallows, and two packs of graham crackers. So I just decided rather than getting all the ingredients by themselves to just do it that way. Then I needed more jet dry for my dishwasher. The boys needed more mouthwash, so we did that. There's also random things. Uh, summertime, so SPS, SPF 50 sunscreen. I needed more deodorant and, oh my goodness. So I really like like this deodorant, but I don't know if it's postpartum hormones. I feel like I do still kind of sweat through this and can smell myself. I don't know, but I tried the invisible solid. So one time I ended up getting something in a Walmart order and I didn't realize it wasn't the, um, the gel. It was like the stick and it leaves so much white all over my clothes. Like I, I'm just not about that anymore. So I got this again and I'm hoping now that I'm weaning breastfeeding that maybe my body will kind of like return to its baseline and this will work well for me again. Um, but I just love, I like the smell and I like that um, this is clear gel. So, and BJ sells it in a four pack. So it was probably, I think it was like 15 bucks for that. So not bad. Okay, also talking about budget. So we are 
just trying to be more mindful and like now that school's over I mean we did remote learning this year so it didn't really matter but usually when I have to prepare lunches I prefer the individual snack size bags because it's easier to just grab and throw in the lunch bags but if you like pre-portion them with just plastic baggies I've noticed that they do go stale so that's just an issue um, if you guys have any tips or you by, so this is just basically two giant bags and we can just kind of like, I like to just grab the whole bag and throw it in our go bag for when, again, pool days, beach days, things like that. So, and it's just way cheaper. Like this is only like $7. Whereas if you bought a box of 45 individually packed ones, it's like double the price. So I don't know, it's just, and I feel like you get more when you do it this way. Having a meltdown about graham crackers. We also got that dog food by the way. Sorry, my 17th interruption of the day. I got a mini watermelon because it's always good to have watermelon on hand. And again, that's just a really good fruit for the summer because it has a high water content. Um, great for Weight Watchers as well. Pineapple, another thing, I know it's kind of a pain in the butt to cut pineapple, but honestly, price-wise, just do it. If you have the time, it's so much cheaper to buy a whole pineapple and just cut it and put, you get so much more pineapple for so much less. So yeah, if you're trying to be budget friendly, Especially like with us, we have so many kids and they eat so much food. I really have to start thinking this way and not shop for convenience. So pineapple, um, dishwasher tabs. These honestly, they're just like the brand, they're not brand name or anything. It's Berkeley and Jensen. These work fine with our dishwasher. So we've just been doing that. And then we use the jet dry to uh, just remove like the spots and stuff from the dishes when you're drying them. You guys know I love me some Premier Protein. I've actually converted to my husband and he has coffee with Premier Protein in it as well. Um, he kind of like fasts while he works. He just does not eat during the day. He cannot like peel himself away from his work because he gets so engrossed in it. And then, I don't know, he just survives off coffee and he puts a little protein in there now. So we're basically both splitting that. Then Quinn, uh, Pampers Swaddlers are hands down in my opinion the best diapers i used to swear by target diapers because they were way cheaper but honestly i don't know what happened between quinn and the twins so the twins are five now they haven't been in diapers since they were like two and a half maybe three um and i don't know something with the target diapers they leak really bad so i took a break from those but back to pampers unfortunately they are a little more expensive but they're worth it um and this quantity is the most that I found. Like I tried to see what Target was selling them for and I think it was only like 138 diapers for roughly the same price. So if you have a bulk store in your area, just definitely go there for diapers. Um, Pirate's Booty, I love Pirate's Booty. It's definitely a healthier snack. It's four smart points for a serving on WW Blue Plan. Um, and you get a lot. It's an ounce, 28 grams for four smart points. So just be careful with that. I recommend pre-portioning. I'm just so bad with chips in general. Um, so I recommend just weighing your chips out before you just start opening the bag and eating from them because huge weakness of mine. Sara Lee honey wheat bread. This is the bread that my family loves. I usually don't, I don't wanna say I don't eat it, but I don't gravitate towards it as much because it's four smart points for two pieces of bread. Uh, one piece of bread is two smart points on blue plans. So not bad. And like if I'm craving a grilled cheese sandwich or any type of sandwich, I will. But for the most part, I stick to wraps because it's just a lot more points friendly. Uh, then over here, I needed more contact solution. And this stuff is awesome. I like this Renew. It comes with two contact cases and a little travel size. So I love that because I just throw the travel size and a case in my purse for emergencies and I just have tons of contact solution. Uh, then we also randomly needed more Windex. So got this giant bottle with the two spray things and that's that. And last but not least, bananas. So I think that's, oh, and then I already said the dog food. So we have two big dogs. Um, we like to feed them blue buffalo. It just seems to do really well with their stomachs. Um, this is the chicken and brown rice recipe. And how much is this? I don't even remember. This is like 38 pounds or something crazy like that. But this dog food is great. Um, and BJ's we found is the best deal for the amount that you get. But anyways, that is it for this video. If you guys did like it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try and get back on here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that my one of my sons had my laptop for remote learning. And now that the school year is over, I can have it again and actually edit my videos 
in a timely manner. I have a bunch of hungry boys that want these groceries, so I will see you guys in the next one. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, anything nice you wanna say. Just don't leave mean things, okay? <laughs> I will talk to you guys later, bye. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over there I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over there I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights